Is the mouse going to eat the tarantula? Watch! The tarantula tried to eat the mouse. That's amazing! I think tarantulas are totally amazing. Hunting their prey on the ground instead of a web? A spider that does things differently. Which kind of gives me an idea about our game of dodgeball. That we can't play because Nash lost his ball. Sorry! It's okay, Nash. What if we do things differently like the tarantula? Yeah! <laughs> Okay, Polos, we want to play dodgeball, right? Right. So much! But we don't have a ball. Nope. Absolutely no ball. But we do have all of this stuff. And if we just think about it differently, maybe we can find something here to use. After all, we can dodge anything we want. You're right. Let's see what we've got. Dodge bike helmet? Too hard. Dodge sunglasses? They'll break. Dodge water bottle? Too splashy. Dolphin! Dodge dolphin? Well, it is nice and soft. It won't break. It will be easy to catch. I think we just found a way to play dodgeball differently. It's some kind of fruit. I think that's a red bush apple. Was the unknown creature eating that? But I thought bats eat insects, not fruit. Whoa! It looks like a fox with wings, bat wings. What is it? No idea. Okay, so it looks like a fox, eats fruit, has fur, bat wings, and can fly. I think it's time for the polo pad. It's a bat. Seriously? It's a fruit bat, and it's called a flying fox. It does look like a fox. I thought bats caught insects for food while they fly. Right. Most bats use echolocation to find their food. Bats make sounds, and the sound waves hit objects and bounce back to them. The bats hear it and use it to locate their prey while they fly. So bats can tell where things are even when it's completely dark. So does a flying fox use echolocation? No, it doesn't. Its big eyes can see colors, and its nose can smell really well. So it just uses sight and smell to find food. No echolocation. This bat is super huge. The flying fox is a mega bat. Totally mega. Yes. Some are so big that their wingspan, that's how far their wings stretch out, are as wide as a grown-up's outstretched arms. Mega! We solved the mystery of the unknown creature. It's a bat. A mega bat. Mega, mega, mega! <laughs> <laughs> Why are they doing that? I think they're grooming each other. It's how they keep themselves clean. And keep their coats in good shape. They're on the move. Hey, they found water. You know, these horses seem to be taking care of themselves. They have plenty of food and know where to find water. They groom each other. And they take care of their young. Those are the things people do for domesticated animals. But these horses are doing it for themselves. I don't think they live on a farm. I think these horses are wild. I think horses could be wild. I'm looking up step horses. Hey, look! Here they are! Travolsky horses. These horses are wild. They've never been domesticated. Horsey! Giddy up! 
Chasing that horse? Horsey won one. Nash, giddy up! One horsey! Huh? You want to ride the horse? Why does everybody understand Nash but me? Those horses are wild animals, Nash. And we never disturb animals in the wild. No giddy up. But that doesn't mean we can't run around ourselves. Yup, the stat makes a perfect place to run wild. Whether you're a horse or a polo. Nay! Nay! Hey, Nash! Horsey ride? <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> 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 <laughs>